in this video I am going to power scale ultimate transformations which were prominent during the season of Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Before that we need to know how strong as their base forms are. Big Chill is a humanoid, moth-like alien, whose four wings and two antennae-like wing folds can fold up into a poncho-esque robe with a hood, giving him the appearance of a phantom. Has the power of cryokinesis and capable of breathing a wind or beam that can reduce the temperature surrounding it to absolute zero. Big Chill can become intangible and pass through solid matter, can cause opponents to freeze by phasing through them if he chooses to. During the episode Vo Dr. Animo or Devoid in this episode was gathering enough energy to essentially create a wormhole to our dimension. The minimum estimated energy for opening a 16-foot diameter wormhole is about 16-18 terawatt and devoid planning on opening a wormhole large enough for an entire army which makes it at least 10 times larger and require 10 times more energy, making it 16,180 terawatt. To the first order changing the temperature of a body by 1 degree either heating it or cooling it requires the same amount of energy. Big Chill not only froze the machine, but along with the land that they were standing, and even for a second made the place so cold it start to snow in null void. So Big Chill must have produced 10 times more energy than the machine. Which means Big Chill must have produced 582 quintillion, 480 quadrillion joules of energy, or equivalent to 140 gigatons of TNT, which place in the tier large island level. Swampfire and Big Chill are equals in terms of strength. Which means Swampfire's attack potency is also 140 gigatons of TNT, or in the tier of large island level. In the Ink Tank video it stated that Swampfire can lift up to 4.2 kiloton or 4200 metric ton. And base human Gusor can lift up to 40,510 and 177,709 millions plus metric ton. Which means base human Gusor is 10 times stronger than Swampfire. And this power gap is constant so if either Swampfire or Big Chill able to perform better feats. Or get stronger. So does human Gusor. Which puts power of human Gusor. About 1400 gigaton or 1.4 teraton which place him. At country level in tier list. Human Gusor can grow nearly 5 times its height, meaning its surface area would grow up to 25 times, and volume up to 125 times. To counter this drastic weight change Human Gusor should also be 125 times stronger, which means power of fully grown Human Gusor is about 175 teret in a large country level. During Vengeance of Vilgax. Vilgax defeated the warriors from 10 worlds and absorbed the power of these defeated warriors to increase his own power. But these power Vilgax was able to one-shot full power Human Gusor with minimum effort, making his power twice as strong as fully grown Human Gusor, which puts Warlord Vilgax power at 350 teratons or large country level. Later during the Secret of Crumb Stone arc, base Human Gusor did better against Vilgax than his fully grown counterpart. Later in the final battle part 2. Not only Swampfire was able to send Vilgax flying with one punch and also able to hold him with his wines. Even if you don't believe Swampfire is equal to Warlord Vilgax, this feat alone puts him in the same tier of power. Or at least half of his strength which means Swampfire power is at 175 teraton or large country level. This also means Human Gusor power is at 1750 teraton or 1.75 petitons, which place him under continental tier of power. Now we can power scale ultimate transformation. In the final battle part 1 we have seen ultimate Human Gusor was capable of fighting an army of Human Gusor. And... Ultimate Human Gusor's single punch was strong enough to create a shock wave which sent multiple Human Gusor flying. When the smoke cleared several bots were destroyed. The exact number of bots in Vilgax's ship was unknown, but we can say that Ultimate Human Gusor is at least 100,000 times stronger than regular Human Gusor. The 100,000 times multiplier is common for all the ultimates, unless there is a different way for us to compare its regular form to its ultimate form. 
which places ultimate human gusors attack potency at 175,000 petatons or 175 exitons which make him moon level. Using the 100,000 multiplier we can calculate the power of ultimate swamp fire is about 17.5 exitons or multi-continental level. Before talking about ultimate big chill's power, I like to discuss about temperature. What is temperature? Temperature in subatomic scale means the movement of the particle and the more heat the system has, the more active the atoms will be. The colder an object is, the slower the atoms are and in the lowest temperature, which is zero degree Kelvin. Atoms would stop moving. But is there a temperature lower than absolute zero? For that question surprisingly the answer is yes. Absolute zero is often thought to be the coldest temperature possible. But now researchers show they can achieve even lower temperatures for a strange realm of negative temperatures. Under certain conditions, a closed system can be described by a negative temperature and, surprisingly, be hotter than the same system at any positive temperature. When the system has negative temperature, it is hotter than when it is has positive temperature. If you take two copies of the system, one with positive and one with negative temperature, and put them in thermal contact, heat will flow from the negative temperature system into the positive temperature system. Sounds familiar. Now it's just you? Me, and fire so cold it burns. We know regular big chill can bring the temperature to absolute zero. So what if ultimate big chill can bring down temperature even further down to the realm of negative temperature? As for power ultimate big chill is same as ultimate swamp fire, which means power of ultimate big chill is at 17.5 exitons or multi-continental. A regular spider monkey, I would say due to his small stature, he may be slightly weaker than both Swampfire and Big Chill, but able to make up with his high combat speed, but still I would scale him nearly 32% weaker than both making his base power around 120 teraton. In the episode Simeon says, Simeon stole a few valuable items from Hybrid, and among those was a Xenocyte Queen. Simeon brought the Xenocyte to an Arachnichim crime lord named Mizaru, and once Mizaru opened the canister, the Xenocyte inside attached itself to him and started making more Xenocytes, and the whole planet's population was transformed into Xenocyte, and this drove the whole Arachnichim species to the point of extinction. But we can't hold out forever. They may very well already be the last of their kind. But later in the story we learn that not only Mizaru was in control of his body, but was able to siphon the power of every Arachnichim in the world. Control all. It makes me more than DN alien, more than Mizaru. I am the sum total of every arachna chimp on the planet. I this is not just an hyperbolic statement because throughout the battle, Mizaru was constantly saying Ben is not only fighting him but his entire world over and over again. One scrawny chimp against the power of this entire world. That's your plan. Even if you downplay the population of Arachnichim and say their population is of one-tenth of human population, they would still have the population of 700 million, and Ultimate Spider Monkey was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Mizaru, which puts Ultimate Spider Monkey at 84 zetatons or planet level. Before we can scale Ultimate Echo Echo. First we need to scale these three characters first. Ultimate Kevin, Gwen and Sir Sir George was wielding the Sword Ascalon which destroyed the homeworld of Incursions. Which alone calculated to be Dwarf Star level. And Sir George was able to use the sword's full power to defeat Dagon, but when Dagon was able to control Gwen, Dagon claimed her to be the strongest in this dimension. Meaning she scales above Sir George. Which place her power at 32.3 Nenatons. Ultimate Kevin had fraction of all of Ben's active alien transformation powers. And even including some of the ultimate alien as well and using this power. Ultimate Kevin defeated Gwen and was able to absorb at least 60% of her power before she could escape. Which raises Ultimate Kevin power to 19.38 nenatons. And Ultimate Echo Echo was able to nearly kill this Kevin with a sonic doom, making him Atlas 10 times more powerful. 
which raises ultimate Echo Echo power to 193.8 nematons or dwarf star level. This scaling is not the constant as in later episode Ultimate Humongousaur was able to go on par with Sir George. Which might increase his power to dwarf star level. But it's very uncertain to say whether Sir George was holding back or not, but until then this is the scaling for these characters.